Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 28 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about select function in PySpark. By this time, if you have seen my PySpark videos, you might have got slight idea like how select function works. It is similar to select what we use in SQL. Okay, so what select will help you to do? To, to take one or multiple columns or even all columns from a table, right? So, similarly, select function in PySpark also does the same. You can select single or multiple columns using column index. Also, you can select the columns or by passing a list. Also, you can select a columns from a data frame. You can also select all columns also. Let me practically show you this with one or two small examples so that you will make most out of it. So let me go to Databricks workspace. This is my Databricks workspace and here let me try to create a new notebook and in that notebook I will create a data frame. Uh, let me name this notebook as select notebook and I will create a data frame and then on top of that data frame I will try to use this select function to select single and multiple columns with a different kind of syntaxes. So let me close this pop up here and quickly let me try to create a data frame here. So let me declare a variable called data equals to list of tuples maybe id column and then name column and then maybe gender column okay and then maybe finally salary column okay. So gender value I want to keep it as a male. So one row is enough for us so because nothing must to do so we have to understand the select function how it behaves actually okay so id name this column name is gender and final column name is salary and you know this right so we can use spark dot create data frame function to create a data frame and for this data frame i am passing my variables and that data frame i am storing in a df and i can use df dot show function to show that data frame so let me close these cells here what it got created and uh, let's wait for the job to run here once the job executes successfully, you can see your data frame. See ID column, name column, gender and salary columns. So now for some reason I want to select only ID and name column. So how to do that? What you can do simply as I said, you can use a select function. To the select function, you can pass your column names in multiple ways. So firstly, if you don't know the syntax and other things, no need to by heart or remember that. Always use this help function. To see documentation of any function and you can go through this documentation to understand what kind of parameters I should pass into function and also you can see multiple examples also here. Okay, so I am not going to read this documentation, you guys can explore that. So I will quickly show you with the different syntaxes. So to the select function, so I want to take id column and name column. So what you can do, you can use like this. So you can pass your column names as strings and use a show function on top of it and see see we are able to select only id and name column okay so not only that you can also do another kind of syntax if you have seen my previous videos i said there are multiple ways to say to point to a column to represent a column in a data frame one is using this strings or you can use df the data frame name dot then column name so df dot id column and name column so let me use show function now and if I hit shift enter you should see see it printed this okay and let's use another kind of syntax so I can use a select function to the data frame you can use this indexed syntax and here I can pass my column names like this okay then second column is maybe comma name column only let's use the same thing and let me use a show function shift enter to execute this cell now if you see i can see it printed here it printed only my id and name columns so like this you can use multiple syntaxes or there is a, in the pyspark dot sql dot functions there is something called column function so let's try to import this column function and once you import it using that column function also you can represent a column so column id then column name so now simply let's try to use a show function this will also print the id and name columns so you can check this here see it also printed so like this in a different kind of syntaxes i can use to access the 
columns using a select function so let me go back to presentation so all that examples i have listed here also in the screenshot so not only that you can pass your column names as a list also so let me practically show you that as well here so let me remove all this so df dot select to the select function i am passing the columns what i want as a list here okay so let me use show function here and let me hit shift enter even this will print the data exactly same way okay so this is how you can use a select function to select singular multiple columns so for some reason maybe you want to select all the columns so in that case you can use this star actually so let me practically show you that so what i can do here i can simply use like how we use select star from table in sql right similarly to the select function pass this star as a string even this will does the same thing it will select all the columns from a data frame so let me hit shift enter now if you wait for the command to run you can see i selected all the columns not only that as i said before select function will take the list also right so what i can do i can supply the list dynamically to select the all columns so what i can do is select call for so what i will use i will use this for syntax so for loop data frame dot columns will give all the column names so i am looping that all column names and i am taking every item into call and that item i am passing into this variable so that's why the entire list will build with all the column names and it will select all the columns so select call in data frame dot columns okay so this property will actually give you all the columns now let me hit shift enter even this does the same thing what happened here is we are creating a list dynamically by looping through all the columns and that list we are passing into select function so it will automatically print the column names for you so that's it in this video i hope you got an idea how the select function actually works thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much